Hello, this is uh, Specialist Cornelius, and we're going to be going over how to sign DoD documents electronically using your smart card or common access card. Um, first thing you have to do before you can even start signing documents is go to Google search, type in military CAC, and make sure that you have your DoD certificates installed. If you have not done this step for Windows or Mac OS that we're about to cover in this video, you will not be able to sign any of your documents. As you can see here, this military CAC website is a really good resource on how to set up all the process here. So obviously the first step would be to obtain a CAC reader, update the drivers, go to DOD certificates and make sure that's properly installed. And as you can see here, he has a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Um, then highly I recommend doing the active client. And then as you can notice here, the last step is actually signing the form. Um, if you are a Mac user, which we will also cover in this video, I will have it timestamped on YouTube. So you guys may be able to see that, but you would go here, use with Mac OS, and it's pretty much a consolidated list with everything related to Mac. Um, so today we're gonna get started with signing documents on Windows computer. So like I said, head over to a military CAC, and then you wanna go to signing forms. And in this video, we are gonna be covering how to sign forms using Adobe Reader. As you can see here, we already clicked here on step six and you just wanna scroll down. And one of the things you're gonna to need to sign these documents is a PDF reader. So as you can see here, there's a nice link right here to download a PDF reader from Adobe. Now you wanna wait till this one starts to get a little activated. And what you wanna do is uncheck these boxes so that you don't have any installations of third-party programs here. So hit download. Now you can see right here, it is initializing and it should open up like this. So you can just put it in your downloads, have it save and open it up right here. Hit yes. All right, so now that we have the program downloaded, we're gonna hit finish right here and it should open up, close out of this. And it should open up Adobe Acrobat Reader. All right. So one of the things I highly recommend if you are on Windows is to set this as your default PDF reader. So one of the ways you can do that is go to apps, default apps, and choose default apps by file type and just wait for that to load for a second. All right, so now that's loaded, we're gonna scroll all the way down, all the way until we see PDF. What this would do is that every time we have a PDF file, it would automatically open it into Adobe Acrobat, which would be our PDF reader. Most of the time, it's gonna already be opened up into a web browser, but Adobe Acrobat is better. So click here and then switch it to Adobe Acrobat DC. And once it does that, your computer might freeze a little bit. That's making sure that it changes all the PDFs to open up for Adobe Acrobat. So now with that done, you can just exit out of this. So now that we have our program installed and I downloaded a practice PDF right here that you can use to sign. Um, to do that, just go down onto step six, like we originally said, and click right here and it will open it into a new tab and then just hit download. Once it's downloaded, go into your files and open it. And by the default that we set up, it should open it in Adobe Acrobat. So now that you're here, one of the things you wanna do is go to tools and make sure your certificate says open. So if it says add, add it in there and you want fill and sign to be there as well too. Um, you can hit show more and it'll show you more tools that are here but most of them are for the pro version that you have to pay for. Another thing you have to check for before you can sign is 
check to make sure that you are using the right settings. So go to edit, go to preferences, go to signatures and at the top right here underneath creation and appearance, hit more. And you want to make sure your default signing format is PKCS number seven detached and make sure this box is checked for use modern user interface for signing and digital ID configuration. Hit OK. Exit out of that. Now, the next step is to restart your computer. So go down right here, hit there and make sure you hit restart and I'll see you when you get back. All right, now that you're back from restarting your computer, um, we can fill out this document. You could have done this beforehand. It doesn't necessarily matter, but the reason why you had to restart your computer is so that the PDF reader could reinitialize with your certificates that you installed. So now that we have filled out our document and let's say for publication, let's add military CAC. Right here. And you want to click on this and this is the button that has already been prepared for you to add your signature. So let me zoom in on it. You'll see like a red tab in the top left of this box. And that's how you know that is where you're going to put your signature. So we're going to click on this box, hit OK to this. And our military CAC should already pop up right here. Um, if you don't have this pop up, and it's saying to configure a new ID or you have different options, try restarting your computer again and then bring it up. If you're still having issues, then stay tuned for the troubleshooting guide. So let's hit continue right here. All right, and hit sign. Now notice that when you sign a, a DOD document, or add a signature, it will open it into a new document that you have to save. Now with that, I always recommend that you annotate somewhere in the title of the document that it is signed. And once you sign it, it's going to ask you for your pin right here. Put in your pin, hit OK. And notice how it already locked most of the document for us. The reason why these signatures down here aren't locked is for they are for people in the higher chain of command to sign off on. But notice that the date has already been filled out and you have your certificate signature right here. So we're going to be going over how to sign documents using your common access or smart card. Uh, before you can do this, you have to make sure you have installed all your DOD certificates and I'll point you to a resource so you can verify and make sure that you have all that installed. And once you have all that installed, then you can get to the signing of the documents because it involves being able to use your certificates. So load up your web browser and go to military. Military CAC is a really good resource in being able to install or just finding steps on anything related to your CAC card or smart card and certificates and anything like that. So um, to make sure that you have your certificates installed on your Mac or you want to know how to do that, you can go here to where it says start here and then click on use with Mac OS. And then here you can do the verification process and make sure you have all your certificates installed here. Um, these are the ones you want to make sure you have installed and just follow this process and then it'll set you up for success. So now moving on to signing documents using a Mac, you would need to go to sign forms here and scroll down till it says Mac users. And we're going to be using Adobe reader. So click on the link that here, that's provided here. Wait for it to load and you're going to be clicking on this free version right here. Download it and then open it up. Double click it to install. Continue, continue. 
hit continue and install. Make sure you type in your password. Now that the PDF reader is installed successfully, hit close, open up the program. As you can see right here, I have uh, a military form right here, or a, a DA form 3161 that we're gonna be using as kind of our test to make sure everything works. Um, as you can see, I have some information filled out. And if you try to click buy right here, hit okay and configure the digital ID and continue down this route, it will not work. You're gonna get an error message. So there's some preferences that you need to do to make sure that this works. All right, so get out of that, go to tools and make sure you have certificates here and you wanna make sure you hit add. If you don't see the full array of icons here, there may be an add, uh, more button to display everything. So make sure you hit add for certificates. And you may want to add fill and sign as well, too. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to Adobe Acrobat, go to Preferences. On the left here on Categories, scroll all the way down to Signatures and hit More. You want to make sure that this is PKCS number seven. And you want to make sure that Enable Crypto Token Kit Framework Support is enabled. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now back to our document. Now at this case, you need to unplug your CAC and restart your computer. So now after your restart, make sure you go ahead and plug in your smart card back into your computer. And we are going to reopen up that same document we we're working with here. Now you want to hit sign right here. Hit OK. And your DOD certificate should pull up here from where you installed it in Keychain. Hit Continue. Now, just you want to make sure that's everything you need. Hit Sign. Now, notice whenever you sign a DOD document, it will always open it into a new PDF. So you want to just mention somewhere in the file name that this is the sign portion, just in case you ever need to go back to it and make some changes. So hit save. You want to put in your pin. And there you go. You now have a signed document. Now notice once that it's signed, you can't fill out any of the information on at the top here but it still leaves in some of the boxes for other people to sign on their portion of the document. So this concludes this portion of the video. Some of the troubleshooting things that we can do to make sure our document still works is if you go to edit, go to preferences and go here for more. Um, some people have had success with using CADIS equivalent, um, especially on Macs. This is one of the things that can be used to help you sign your document. But I recommend staying on detached and checking on other areas first. So make sure it says detached or whatever you want there. And then make sure this box absolutely has to be checked. Another way you can check is if you go down to here for more, you can see that your certificates are already here, which means that they have been installed into Adobe Acrobat for you to sign. If you don't see any of your certificates right here, particularly maybe this one, that's because you have not installed your certificates correctly. And I recommend you go back to step three right here on the process of installing your certificates. And if you are a Mac, you will go to use with Mac right here. And then the whole process is right here for you. Now, that's pretty much it for troubleshooting. If you're still having issues, um, just keep on restarting your computer or try using a different program. Uh, Foxit is a pretty good program you can use, but most of the troubleshooting that you can find will be uh, under support here. 
and you can always contact them and they'll let you know how they can help you and what things you may need to change. Right here underneath uh, signing step six, you can see there's already some common troubleshooting things that you can use to help you sign your documents. And this goes for Windows and Mac as well. Another PDF reader that you can use is Foxit. So go to Google and type in Foxit, just like that. Hit right here. Go to download for free. Scroll all the way down to Foxit Reader and hit free download. Make sure it says Windows and English and then hit free download. Now that it is downloaded, open it up and try to find the file that we are going to use to sign. So you may have to browse through your computer. And this is the file we were using. Now what we're going to do is sign this document now that it's all filled out. So hit buy and then you can hit sign as and it should pop up just like that and you want to hit sign. Notice again that it opens it up into a new document and you can see that it has sign. Make sure you rename it that and then go back and hit save. You can just hit OK for that. OK. And then put in your pin. Now notice how it reopens the same document with a lot of the sections that cannot be changed. And the signatures for the other people are still here to be signed. And that is a second method you can use. If you are still having issues with using this PDF reader, I do recommend rechecking your certificates using the military CAC website or also restarting your computer again. Exiting the program and reinitializing it most of the time works in identifying certificates used for signing PDF documents.